What's up guys, on today's video, I'm pushing in pretty far into some public that I haven't hunted before. I'm gonna see if I can put a good shot on a nice doe. See if we can make it happen. What a roller coaster of a season it has been. What's up guys? So on today's video, I'm headed into a uh, public piece, a pretty big one. And I've been kind of stage hunting it. I scouted it a couple of seasons ago. And uh, my goal, because my buck tag's already filled, is to stage hunt this place and see if there's any worthwhile buck holes in here. And uh, hopefully add a couple of go-to spots to my list. I hunted out here uh, the other morning and got skunked. And uh, did a little bit of scouting on my way out and I'm Headed back to a spot where, when I was scouting during the postseason, there was a really nice scrape there, a couple of them, a lot of deer scat. And it was kind of a transition area where some thicker woods, where some thicker woods started to open up and uh, meet some bigger timber. About a half mile walk in, and I already kind of have a tree in mind, but with that being said, I'm gonna scout my way in, and if I see some good uh, good sign on the way in, I'll set up, I'll set up on it instead, but. Yeah, just kind of checking out this piece and uh, seeing what I can see. Nice little rub. Pretty fresh, too. Looks like he's heading this way. And uh, the scrapings and stuff are still at the bottom of the tree, so that's a really fresh, probably good sign, actually. And that's coming right out of here, it looks like. Well, I finally got set up in somewhere that I'm happy with. I'm basically at the tip of a draw. And as this draw comes out, I found a really nice trail that kind of runs the ridge up top. But this trail drops into this draw and there's a ton of different rubs. Uh, some of them are historical, some of them are fresh, but it's also the only spot I've found in these woods that opens up a little bit. The rest of it has just been like insanely thick. Uh, so thick I would have had to hunt it from the ground. And I don't mind doing that, but I dressed in uh, blue jeans today because it was hot and all my camo stuff is like made for super cool weather so that wasn't going to happen but the trees around here are all kind of small. I got in the only double tree I could find kind of at the head of this draw and I face myself so that if I see any deer I shouldn't have to move to shoot but I kind of came in that way and made my way over this way. The main bedding I think is right in front of me here. So I don't think I spooked anything out. It's kind of starting to spit. It's breezy, southeast wind, about 12 miles an hour. But for some reason, I have a really good feeling about this spot. It's It's got a lot of uh, um, good features in, in the top of this draw. I think it's gonna be good for maybe funneling deer around it. So it's uh, a little after three. It gets dark pretty close to six. I got three hours. And uh, hopefully we get to run something through. There's a 0% chance of rain in today's forecast. That's Missouri, man. I'm gonna stick it out, unless it gets like... wet enough that I think it may damage my cameras, but as of right now, I think I'm gonna stay.
So I had a doe come by, and I was going to shoot her. She looked like she was going to come this way, and then she just bounded off like crazy. I was like, man, did she smell me or what? Then a couple of minutes later, I hear something behind her, and here comes a nice buck. I would have smoked him if I hadn't have already shot one. He's a dang good buck. And so the spot I picked was definitely okay. I knew there was a lot of historical sign in here. And I'm at the top of a draw, and just like I thought, the very top of it is where they crossed. So, I've probably got about another hour of hunting left, and hopefully a doe comes by, but uh, that was promising either way. It was cool to see that. He's a nice buck. Guys, I'd say that's probably it for me, unless something comes by in the next 10 minutes or so. Make sure if you haven't already to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I got a week of vacation coming up and all I'm going to be doing is hunting. We got a rifle season opening up in about four days, so definitely a lot of content that I'm planning on uh, pushing you guys' way. And uh, until then, I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.